All right, hey everyone, welcome to the uh, LDG podcast. I think this is episode number five. Today we have ourselves MTN, who is a, uh, a very well-known creator in the unturned scene. Um, got around like 30,000 subscribers. He's been doing it for years. Like, I think he started way before me as well, which is uh, absolutely insane, to be honest. Very nice to have you here, MTN. I've known you for a long time as well, so yeah, I'm hyped. I'm hyped for this one. Um, but yeah, before we... To be here. Yeah, man. So, if you guys don't know MTN, he basically, uh, he used to do a lot of streaming as well when it comes to, uh, uh, Arena. So, back then, Arena was super popular, and MTN used to dominate the Arena scene, literally. Uh, he used to win, uh, he, he, uh, before we started, he mentioned that he had, like, the highest amount of wins as well of, uh, on Arena, which is absolutely insane, to be honest. Back then, One Hunter... of them, at least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. Back then, I remember unturned stats was a thing, but nowadays, sadly, it isn't. It died. Um, but before we start, I would like to give a shout out to the sponsors of this podcast. Firstly, we have ourselves Restore Monarchy, who makes uh, free and paid plugins for all types of servers, including roleplay. Whatever server you would like, they will have themselves yourself uh, really any plugin that you would like, and they also do a lot of guides, which myself and MTN have actually worked on. Uh, MTN has made a full guide on ma map making, so check out Star Monarchy if you're into that. And we have ourselves Pine Hosting. Uh, if you guys are into buying yourselves a server for Unturned or any other game, including Rust, Minecraft, Ark, a bunch of other games, make sure to use code LDG for 30% off. Uh, and exclamation Pine Host if you guys want to check it out. So, yeah, let's just start. Let's start. So. Hello, MTN. So before we started, I, I asked you if it's your first time, and yeah, it's actually your first time, so I'm glad to be the first person to invite you on a podcast, you know? So <laughs> I, I've been invited to a few before, but I always I always decline that. I've uh, um, always been to your best, say, but uh, for you, I had to uh, uh, put some time aside to it. I appreciate sure. that. I appreciate that. That's actually really, really nice, man. <laughs> I've known MTN for a very long time, so... Yeah, it's very nice to, to have you here, man. I used to be a fan as well. I mean, I still am, but, you know, I, I've known about you before I've ever talked about you. Like, I talked with you, like, for, I used to watch your videos and all of that, you know? And yeah, um, that's, it's a long time ago. I mean, time has just flown by. Yeah, yeah. It's actually why where we are today. That, uh, that how is big true. of a difference as well. Like, we took two different paths, I would say. You kind of leaned into this content creation path of uh, like yeah. sticking to unturned, which you've done a really good job at. Thank you, uh, thank love you. Love to see it. Um, well, I took a more, uh, I took a step back in a way, and I kind of like went with my IRL stuff and tried to focus on that for a bit. Um, but about a month and a half ago, I came back, and it's been fun since. Yeah, man, I'm really happy that you returned. To be honest, I was like, like with the first video you posted, I think it was like, I think it was like arena in 2024 something like that or like the ryan gosling video it was uh, the arena in 2024 yeah, was yeah. Uh, i uploaded that at the beginning of this year without any intentions to like come back okay uh, and then i don't remember exactly what my first video for my like for my actual comeback was okay um, okay but it was one of them at least yeah the yeah. ryan gosling video is a pretty good one yeah i love that video <laughs> i love that bro i haven't seen a mod showcase video in so long so the fact that you know that still happened in this year is absolutely insane to be honest it wasn't very easy i'm gonna let you know like the unturned workshop is a mess when you try to find <laughs> stuff it's such a mess i <laughs> even saw like i saw both tour games thumbnails like every every now and then and then i saw <laughs> thumbnails from my videos people have like uploaded npcs to the workshop with my tutorial uh, uh which is just like hello <laughs> bro that's hilarious to be honest yeah i sometimes like i browse through the workshop for like you know just for fun and I see, like, the 2R Games logo so much. It's crazy. It's insane. And yeah. there's so many stupid mods out there as well. Like, I've seen some even NSFW mods. But I think they're oh, yeah, taken down. Yeah, I think they were taken down, though. Thankfully, you know? It's unturned. Yeah. But the thing is also, like, we got to take into consideration how small the team is working on a turn. Yes, yes, yes. Um, It's impossible to moderate it fully. Oh um, yeah, no. For like sure. I think they're getting bad of the, like the big bads at least, which is super important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember I reviewed one of those mods on stream. Uh, it got demonetized, obviously. Um, of I don't really want to say what the mod is nowadays, but yeah, it was a toy basically. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> I think I've done plenty of those as well. Uh, yeah. Um, I don't think they've ever been demonetized. I still have some of them up. Oh damn. Uh, okay. No, it was a stream. Been wild. 
Yeah, but I had the, the, the word in the title, you know, which was not a good idea, probably. Yeah, that's probably why you would get demonetized. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I got I prefer my I prepared myself a few questions as well for you, you know, basic generic unturned that probably a lot of people will ask, but uh basically the first question is I ask this to everyone. Um is how did you find out about unturned? Oh, this is a I started playing unturned back in 2014 and that's the first time when I launched a game. Um okay. So what was happening like before that, I used to play a game called uh, War C. Uh, War C. It's now known as Infestation Survivor Stories. Um, okay. I used to play that together with my brother uh, and cousin. You know them as two our games. Yep. And yeah, we yeah. used to watch uh, a streamer called Dakotas as well. Oh, I remember him. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, so I don't know if it was Dakotas or my brother and cousin who started playing it first. It was one of the two, and then I just decided to give it a go. And in okay. 2014, I only played it for like a couple of days. And then I just stopped because I didn't find it fun. Okay. Uh, and then uh, I took a long break, well, kind of a long break, until Operation Maple Leaf came out, if you know what that yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Unturned 3.0. Exactly. And <laughs> when I launched that, I, I got hooked. It was a, such a fun game back then. Yeah. So I, I kind of find it, found out about it through my brother and I would say as well Dakotas. Okay. Dakotas exploded then, I remember. So you know, yeah. you know Dakotas like when he was a, a new, like a small streamer then? Yeah, uh, he only had a hundred, couple of hundred viewers uh, back then when he did War C. Okay. And then, like when Fortnite came out, he just blew up at, at like several thousands of viewers. It was yeah, wild. Yeah. It was crazy. Yeah, I remember. I remember watching him as well. I didn't even know that, like you guys knew knew him basically. I remember watching his like sniping montages and all of that. You know. Yeah, and one of the sniping montages, I, I think, uh, both uh, Rose and Rossi uploaded videos to the Tour Games channel. They made like a Dakota sniper montage that they uploaded for him, which was cool. Oh damn! Okay, okay, I didn't know this. That's they, actually insane. So, yeah. So they, I don't know how good contact they still have, but uh, back in the days they used to like, at least like chat to each other pretty okay. often. I would say. Okay. All right. Which was pretty cool. That is cool. Yeah, yeah. He's still, uh, he's still quite big as well in the, in the uh, Twitch scene as well. Oh yeah, definitely. He's. Uh, He's like he's made it. Yeah, yeah least, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. I was a huge fan of him. That's actually insane. Damn. Okay. Yeah, and I can brag about something. Back when <laughs> Fortnite released, I actually killed him. Damn. <laughs> Yo. Yeah, you were cracked. I remember you were insane in Fortnite. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of good. I also introduced the the stretch resolution to yes. Fortnite. I'm the basically the grandfather of that because nobody knew how to do it, uh, and I was like, yeah, this is how you do it. Uh, Damn. And Everyone started doing it, and that's how the sweats were born in Fortnite. <laughs> yeah, I think that's your most viewed video, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it yeah. is. That's crazy. So you've done your huge impact in Unturned and in Fortnite. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Uh, for the uh, for in Fortnite, for the better or the worse, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, you know, a lot of people did search for it and they found your video. So I guess, I guess for the best, you know, they weren't sad. You know, they were happy. <laughs> yeah. So if sure. you make one person happy then you're fulfilled, you know? That's what I oh, think. Oh, yeah, absolutely. That's, what, that's how I, I see it. I agree with that 100%. Uh, as long as you can make someone's day, you know, I'll exactly. take it. Uh, yeah, yeah. That, that makes my day. Like, a little exactly. less. That's what I that's say. That's why like... I try to be posit positive all the time, even though you might have, like, a shit day. If yeah. you try to be positive towards someone who has a negative day, it's just going to make their day better. If you're positive towards positive, it's just going to make both days better. Exactly, yeah, yeah. Yes. Like even a, I did a study on this back when I started where I'm currently working. Okay. Um, uh, basically, just like if you bring a positive um, attitude into any discussion or and just and like any encounter with a person, um, you have a much higher chance of just it, the discussion being positive, I guess, which is nice. Yeah, yeah. Like but it's important to have the mindset. That is, yeah, yeah. I always say like if I have five viewers or if I have a hundred viewers. If I make at least one of their days better, then I think I've done a good job for today, you know? So Absolutely. Yeah. All right, so uh, the next question I have for you is, so, yeah, what's your favorite unturned map of all time? Ooh, that's a good question. Alpha Valley, hands down. Damn. No question about it. Okay. Yeah, Alpha Valley is one of my favorite Monolith, is, al Monolith is also up there. Yeah, oh, Monolith. Bro, I remember I remember my first ever map that I've ever played was Monolith and Unturned, like the, the previous Unturned, where yeah. there was, it wasn't Arena, it was just a map, 
You just play there and just chop down trees. That's it. So yep. yeah, you you've played Escalation like recently. So I saw. Have you played like for example like Polaris or Arid? I have not, but ever since I uploaded my first video that I played on uh, Escalation, people have commented to for, like told me just to play all the other curated maps and stuff like that. Okay. So I have plenty of stuff to go through. It's just I have to find the time for it. Exactly. I recommend like if you have some time, I recommend checking out, especially Arid and Polaris. They're really really good maps. And if you're we'll into have to do that sometime soon. Yeah, if you're into hardcore, check out Buak too. Yep. All right. Uh, so the next question is so this is a bit of a crazy question actually. Um, so, if you had the chance, so you're into game dev, so this may be a bit of a, a, when I ask this question to other people, you may give a different answer to them, since you know how game dev and all of that works. So, the question is, if you were given the chance to improve Unturned in any aspect, uh, what would you change from it? Like, if you had one thing, basically. A loaded question, uh, but to keep it simple, what I would do is add some type of polling to the game for updates. Whenever you have, you, you, like before you make an update to the game, have a polling to see what the community thinks about. Okay. The way that the community can impact uh, the change of the game, basically. For an example, um, we recently, or quite recently, had the Maple Strike nerf. Yeah, yeah. Which kind of like tore the community in, like apart in the middle. We had the PvPers on the other side and the more casual players on the other side. I think if they would have gone, like if uh, if they would have gone with a poll, that we would have had much happier people, and we could have probably found a middle ground or something like that. But I think just like involving the community in the game development more is probably important for unturned uh, for unturned success. That is, that's actually I've never thought about that. That's actually really really a good idea actually. Uh, yeah. So Nelson does listen to these podcasts, so hey, maybe Nelson take notes. <laughs> It's good. It's a good idea, actually. That's a really good idea. Even if it's like it doesn't have to be a public po- like Paul, you know, just maybe on his Twitter. He, I think he've, he's done this before. Um, yeah, I, I, I can't recall when he did it, if he did it, uh, I think he but did, uh, yeah, yeah. it's definitely a great success doing so. Um, I think it would be good to do it where you have the most traffic, and I would say that's probably the official intern Discord and through the announcements. Just have what like a page where you can do it on the forums and link that across the different platforms and have people gather on one site and vote. Okay, that's, yeah, that's I, that would be great if that happens. That's actually a really good idea. If that happens, oh, wait, actually, the best thing is you should probably add coffee to the game. Yes, I coffee. I, I scratch everything else I said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nelson, please add coffee. There's some mods which has coffee, so you know. <laughs> yeah. But we need we need official vanilla coffee. This. Yes. So. Hundred percent. If you guys don't know, in, in MTN's outro, he always says steak coffee. Do you actually drink a lot of coffee? I don't do it as much anymore, um, but back when I started like doing uh, YouTube actively, uh, and I started saying coffee, stay coffee, and I named my Discord Coffee Nation. Yeah, <laughs> I used to probably drink a solid eight to nine cups a day. Damn. But what you have to take into consideration is I like for a long period of time of my life between 2016 to 2018, 19 ish. I used to just record videos, stream 12 hours a day, and edit all of that myself. And I did that for a long time, which is very unhealthy. It is, but yeah. for me to be able to do it, I needed caffeine. Of course, of course, of course. I used to take a lot of energy drinks and, you know, didn't really affect my health well, sadly. So I stopped completely now and you kind of you, you kind of see the difference in terms of energy, you know? I can't comment on that because I went from coffee to drinking energy drinks because they're much easier to buy. Um, plus okay. at my uh, office. We have a vending machine uh, on one in a, one of our cafeterias that's next to my office space. Okay. So we're like right outside, I can just grab like monsters and stuff. Okay. Uh, which is, it's too much of a temptation. I can't resist. <laughs> it is a bit of a temptation. Yeah, I've had one monster in my fridge. It's been there since like May. I haven't. That's t- that's strong, man. It that's is. Strong. It is. I'm like, if I take that, I'm you know, I have like tummy issues whenever I take extreme like caffeine. So like, if I take it, I'm gonna be in pain later on. So I'm like. Is is the pain worth it? No, so I just close my fridge again. <laughs> I should yeah, probably absolutely. actually like give it to someone or something, you know. Yeah, um, I think like 
if you can, if you've never had like energy drinks and stuff like that, avoid it like the plague. Because it's like, sure, it, it might be a nice pick, uh, pick me up at some point, but that pick me up is going to lead to more and more and more. Yes, yes. Uh, I'm a perfect example of that. Like I went from coffee and then in high school and uh, when I started it, I used to drink two monsters every single day. And I did that for a year and a half until I dropped out. Uh, but ever since then, I basically continue drinking around two monsters per day. Not every day, but almost every day. That's, uh... And I did that up until uh, half a year ago. Uh, so I did that for several years. Um, I still drink way too much caffeine today, but it's a lot less than I, or a lot less than what I did before. Okay. I mean, as as long as you like moderate it, you know, and like try to yeah, drop listen the to your amount. body. That's the important thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I used to take, I used to take like at least one a day, and then like it, it got really bad. I don't know why. Um, so I had to, you know, stop completely. It was painful at the start, you know, because I'm like, oh, I want one, but like, <laughs> it's not worth it at the end, you know, so, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so next question is, all right, so would you say that Unturned currently is going towards an improvement direction? So do you think Unturned is getting better or do you think it's getting worse? Like, or is it staying the same? What do you think? It's hard for me to say much about this considering I just kind of, like I kind of just recently returned. Yeah, yeah. But from what I've seen and taken it, I've taken into consideration like what I see happening in the community and stuff like that as well, is that it's going towards a negative trend for sure. But from my personal view as well, um, I think like just they've done a really good job with the updates and communicating them out. Um, like just like the, the blog posts and stuff like that. That's okay. super important. The yeah, community yeah. blogs. Um, I would rather, like, what I would want to see personally as well is just, like, do, like, try to do more planned updates so you can communicate earlier about them, if that makes sense. Okay. So, like, if I, he, I'm sure, like, Nelson has a big, big backlog of things he wants to do and needs to do, but it would be cool if he would communicate, like, tease updates more uh, than what he currently is, if that makes okay. sense. Okay, okay. All right. Uh, me personally, I think, like, the maps are getting better, you know? Yeah. The maps are getting better, but, like, the community is, like, slowly leaving, you know? Yeah. A lot that's of... always how it's going to be. People are that people is true, come yeah. and people go. That is true. Last time I talked about this with, uh, I think it was Nilex, we said, like, if Nelson decides to, like, promote Unturned to, like, a large streamer, for example, like, for the funny moment... On the in the chat they were saying like speed or Kai Sanat, you know, like imagine those type of streamers like extremely large and he promotes unturned on those streams, like for example XQC. Um which I think he did play XQC did play unturned once. He Yes, he did. He play, he tried to play on turn of, I think. Yeah, yeah. And, and I, I, I think you were there. <laughs> I think I was uh, I was still around and I was in the stream. Uh I was watching a stream live when it happened. Okay. And then uh, someone uh, dropped, I think it was the N bomb in the voice uh, chat, and he just shut down. Yeah, I don't blame him then. I don't blame him. Yeah. But like, imagine he plays it with like, I don't know, like he does a private server and he invites a few friends and just, you know, like how we pl used to play it in like 2016, just, you know, for. Yeah, I mean, we had the, we had stuff like Gang C and stuff like that, for yeah, example. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I, I never partook in that, but we had Paul Suarez and them doing it. Yeah. I think like a way Nelson could potentially, like, if he would ever, like, interest, like, give this. Uh, this idea, some interest and some uh, uh, thoughts. I think one way he could do it is set up official servers that are private to streamers and make like uh, sort of like a forced, uh, uh, well, an enclosed uh, server basically yeah, where yeah. streamers can join, where it's a sort of a safe space and where you would have moderators vet people that can join the server um, and stuff like that. I don't know how sustainable that is. That would, uh, but that would probably idea, be the actually, best yeah. way to do it. Um, it would be a safe environment for them to stream it in, and uh, they could promote the game much more uh, in a more safe way that would look more appealing. Yeah, this this did a controlled environment. Yeah, yeah, this did happen kind of like with certain events in the past years. I don't know if you know about them. There was like, uh, pff, there was one hosted by P9, where the slash I one thirty two happened. Do you remember that? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then sadly, Matt. yeah, yeah, the other, yeah. Um and then there was like one for from Mano Man and then there was one from Z Man. So these did kind of happen, but there was always something going wrong in them. 
So yeah, uh, it's like it's sort of like what I'm thinking. Like when, if we take marketing it, uh, into consideration, like if Nelson or SDG, let's just say SDG yeah, yeah. in this case, would pay a streamer to uh, advertise the game. What I'm thinking is that it's sort of like the same concept as those, uh, but it's more like that SDG controls. Uh, who gets to play in the server with the streamers and so on. Exactly. Uh, yeah, yeah. It would be hard to control or like maintain and stuff like that. So you would definitely have to break it down more and get into details. But that's how you would go about it, I think. Yeah. Yeah. That would If that ever happens, that would be really, really good. Because like then if there's larger streamers, then the smaller streamers would be interested, you know, and then it'll, yeah, and... it'll keep going on. Yeah, and as someone who has been now in game dev for about four years, uh, I've worked two, uh, two and a half years now in AAA. Okay. Like, um, you can't just have a game and let it be and exist for it to grow. Sure, you can release some good updates, but it's not going to make the game explode and uh, stuff like that. If you want to, like, I'm going to use the word revive or re resuscitate this game properly, you would have to do proper campaigns. Um, for like that would last probably for like a month where you would rotate with different streamers and pay them a certain certain things but marketing is something that definitely needs, needs to be done at a certain level for and turn to properly flourish okay yeah yeah so i i use a website that um it like connects streamers with uh games you know and for though from it i've like learned like so about so many new games and they're actually like really good as well so i think if nelson decides to like do something like that i think that would be really really good you know yeah absolutely um but it's also like it is important to also get like what we currently have to the best state that it currently can be of course we want unturned like before unturned gets into like if they would ever consider like doing a marketing push they have to definitely like think about the gameplay loop of unturned what is the core audience uh, like? What do they actually enjoy? What do the majority of the community enjoy? And make that better. I think, for example, unturned onboarding can be a lot better. There's not really anything that really teaches you the game properly. How should you play unturned? How is unturned supposed to be played? I think that's something that needs to be done. Because if you launch the tutorial map, for example, sure, you get to know how to do the movement. You get to know how to drive a car or refuel a car. Yeah. But you need to have some proper context into what you're actually going to be exactly, doing. Exactly, yeah, yeah, that is true, yes. The tutorial, that's basically all it does, like, the extreme yeah. basics. So... so a better onboarding to the game uh, that teaches the player what actually the game is about. Exactly, yeah. Because, like, yeah, there is, like, there is a part where you have to kill zombies in Unturned, but it's, like, it's not even... It's a, a very minor part. Yeah, yeah, it's, like, it's not even a competition because you're above them with a Zubek and you don't even try to, like, escape or whatever from them, you know? Yeah, exactly. Okay, so uh, the next question is... This is actually a, a question from from the Discord. Uh, it was actually a really good question. So, um, they asked, How do you balance work, life, streaming, and working on your own game projects? That's a very loaded question. And uh, yeah. considering my XMR, uh, my AD has gotten a lot worse, which you can see by my face, uh, it's a little bit red. Uh, I don't handle it the best way, I would say, but I still manage. So right now, like, if you look, go to my YouTube channel, you see that I haven't posted in, what is it, like, two, three weeks? Yeah, I, last one was around uh, two weeks and that is because um, that is because I have uh, more work duties currently, before the holiday. Uh, we're working six day weeks, basically. Okay. Um, so what I do is that I always, like, whenever I, I, I take it on a week-to-week -week basis, I try to plan ahead and see, like, what I have to do this week. Um, and then I just just do it. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah. But I always prioritize my like my my life stuff uh, with work and oh, all yeah, that for sure, for sure. Uh, before anything. Uh, but there's always a way. For example, like now with work as well, I haven't been streaming as much. And uh, once I actually get time again to start doing something, I'm probably gonna end up stepping down like a bit back from streaming as actively, because I probably like what I wanna do. Like my goal is to do work mainly and then do youtube as like a just my secondary hobby if you will yeah yeah okay uh, but uh balance balancing work your work life situation is very hard and it varies person to person um so i just take it take it as it comes basically yeah take it day by day basically you know yep. okay all right so uh the next question is this is also a question this one was from z-man actually so he asked uh, how did the name MTN come to mind? 
Um, you can see it there. It's a it's a mountain. Uh, um, so, so MTN stands for mountain, okay. uh, which is actually a part of my uh, my surname, my family name. Okay. Uh, my our family name is Mountain Lake, but in a different language, okay. not in Swedish. Uh, have you know? <laughs> All right. Um, so That's actually like, a cool a cool surname to be honest. Yeah. So what I decided was that I took the mountain part from that and took the abbreviations from it, which is MTN. So my name is actually like the idea when I got my name was that I, I wanted to pronounce, like have people play, call me mountain. In okay. A way. Uh, but it kind of just, it kind of just stuck with MTN and I prefer that over mountain. Yeah. MTN um, is a yeah. cool name. Yeah. It's a but very, yeah, it very, my... no, go on, yes, go on. <laughs> uh, it's, it's not in Swedish uh, all the time, uh, but yeah, it's, it's better share, but in a different language. Nice try. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that uh, Yolo time is from from Sweden, so he did say it's not from Sweden. Come on, <laughs> if someone can guess it, that would be great. It's not that difficult. Um, my name has been public for a very very long time. Yeah, I know your first name. I don't know your second name though. <laughs> I was actually doxed uh, back when I used to stream, like when I was uh, streaming. Oh actively. damn! I was actually doxed uh, in front of like three hundred people uh, while streaming, which was great. So that people would... got to know like exactly where I lived back then and so on. That's <laughs> which that's was fun. Scra- that's scary, bro. I'm, that's literally one of my worst nightmares. Yeah, they they but, uh, know my I mean, full name now. Things, is... Yeah, but there's like worst thing worst things can happen. Uh, fortunately, I live in Sweden. But if someone in the US, for example, gets doxxed, you know, they can get swatted, which is a yeah, serious yeah. thing. And that happens, and people do lose lives. So like, yeah, if you if you do doxing, L. L L doxers. That's right. That's right. Um. Yeah, I, they know my they know my first and second name, but thankfully they don't know where I live. Malta is very small, so it's kind of like easy. Yeah, it's literally it's literally a small island. Yeah, the neighbors with anomaly. <laughs> exactly, I know where anomaly lives. For example, I'm not gonna say, but I know the area he lives in. You know, so yeah. like the town because Malta is in cities or whatever. It's like small towns around. So yeah, yeah. Even from his videos, you can tell where he lives. That's the crazy thing. Like just from his yeah, video, I, mean, I can tell. Yeah, I mean, uh, if I would go to Malta, I would probably like tourist around and look like get familiar with the place, uh, different places. Um, I would probably be able to pinpoint where he lives yeah. like, within another day, I would say. 100%. First frame I saw, like him, him recording close to his house, I'm like, I know where that is. <laughs> it's such a small <laughs> island, man. <laughs> like yeah. in two hours, you can cross from one side to the other in, in a car, man. Yeah. It's kind of sad, to be honest. It's lonely here. I am. Yeah, I mean, I get that. Uh, I li- like Sweden. A lot of people think Sweden is a small country. Uh, it's not very wide, but it's hella it's tall. long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I used to live up in at the, almost at the top of like uh, Sweden, like all the way in the north. And then back when I got my job where I'm currently at, at Shark Mob, uh, I live now at the southern tip. I live 15 minutes away from Denmark. Okay, it's kind of kind of interesting. But yeah, I moved 15. I think it's 1,500 kilometers from uh, where I used to live. Which is kind of crazy. That tells you how big Sweden actually that, is. That's massive, actually. Jesus. More than yeah. like 40 kilometers. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> that's quite the difference. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's like a, a normal walk for you, probably. No, that's oh, actually no. too much. No, that's, <laughs> that's a lot. A, that's a long walk. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, now, I'm, now I realize. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's move on to the next question. So if you guys don't know, MTN does a lot of other games back in the day on his channel as well. Not just unturned, so it's not like MTN only posts unturned. Um, so would you ever consider in the future doing other games in unturned as well? Yep, yeah, uh, I think that's my long-term goal as well with doing YouTube. Of course, like I love unturned and I love what unturned has done for me and my life in general. Um, but I do want to like slowly like I want to like right now I want to focus on doing unturned videos because that's what people subscribe to me for. Okay. Um, but I do want to branch into different things. One thing that I'm uh, looking into doing is actually moving into making sort of like game dev videos uh, on the side. Okay. Um, and to give an example of what that would be, it would be that I would remake Unturned as it is right now in Unreal in like a month and make turn that into a video and okay. see how it turns out. Because I watch a lot of those type of videos myself and I think I could pull it off and do it in a nice way. Yeah, I um, I don't know if you know what Project Zomboid is. Yes. Um, so I've seen videos. So you know like how Project Zomboid the camera angle is. Um, yeah. uh, I've seen videos of like people redoing the game and like they do it for example like in first person so is yeah, that stuff, exactly stuff like that is what I'm thinking that, that, well. I, that I actually back 
two and a half years ago, um, I was actually making a unturned platformer uh, where you actually had zombies spawn in and you would actually shoot them and fight them. And I used like my way, well, like my game that I kind of like, like f fantasy game that I followed was Celeste. So it, it would have right. been a mix between Unturned and Celeste, if you know what Celeste is. I, th I think I've heard of it, yeah. yeah okay, that would, that would be really interesting, actually. You know how, like, in Unturned now, there's, like, Unturned Mobile and Unturned Console and Nintendo? So yep. would you ever consider, like, trying to do something, like, Unturned on another console, for example? Like, would you think it's a good idea, for example? I don't. I think Unturned is great on PC. I think it should stay there and try to just grow what it currently has and okay. just improve on PC. I think it's great that he expanded into console because I know, like, just from looking at the Reddit every year, once every year, and um, you know, you see people who actually just just play on console. Uh, so I think there's a big like audience there that we don't even like know yeah, about really. Yeah, exactly. Um, but yeah, I think I think it's good that he's branched out into doing like spreading Unturned around on different consoles. But I think. PC needs a lot more love and a lot more polish. Okay. Okay, yeah. I've played console for a little bit um, when it launched, actually. And, uh, yeah, it, it, I never tried it again from there, you know? <laughs> that, that's all I can say. I was like, it, it was okay, but the, the controls were so weird. So like yeah, uh, I remember like when uh, they announced that 505 games would do on turn console. I remember seeing the trailer and oh. deciding there and then that I don't want to play it because yeah. it was play though. <laughs> <laughs> now thankfully though I I remember like 505 games gave me a key so I didn't really spend money on it. Yeah. So thankfully I I didn't you know buy it. But still even I gave I got it for for free I still didn't want to you know try it again. Yeah. But those that are PC fans for Unturned and you pay for the console version, I don't think you should feel bad because a provision of that does go to Nelson directly, which is okay. still good. You're still yeah, supporting yeah. your... Uh, if you if Unturned is your favorite game, then you're supporting your favorite game dev that way. Of course. So yeah. that's still a good thing. We love Nelson. Nelson is... Yes, we do. Nelson is hard. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Uh, okay, so next question I have is... All right, so this is actually the last... No, no, it's not. Never mind. Um, so what's your plans for the channel coming uh, soon. Yep, uh, so I'm currently working six day weeks until the 22nd of uh, December. Okay. Then I'm going to be off for two weeks, uh, whereas I'm going to be for five days first. I'm going to visit family up in northern Sweden uh, for Christmas and stuff like of that. Of course, of course. Uh, spend some time with my, uh, with my partner. And then uh, I'm also going to be trying to record a large sort of backlog of videos so I have stuff to edit. I can just like continuously post. Yeah. Um, but it's going to be in 2025, it's mostly going to be at the beginning of it, at least unturned. What kind of unturned videos? I'm not entirely sure yet. I haven't landed on that yet. And then I'm going to start branching into other stuff, such as the game dev stuff that I've been talking about. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's good. If you ever want to do like a duo video, I think that would be, I think that would be epic, man. You yeah, know? absolutely. We'll go on like, I don't know, escalation or something and we'll go dominate. Yeah. Uh, that, I think that would be fun. Yeah. Uh, all right. A lot of people have asked me if I want to play and stuff like that. I know from my latest video, uh, which was uh, can you make friends and unturned sort of for whatever. Okay, yeah, I saw that. A lot that, of people yeah. have reached out to me and they've been like, "Hey, do you do you want to play with me?" Because they uh, thought I was actually like looking for friends and I had no friends. Oh, uh, that's that's wholesome <laughs> to be honest. So like unturned community, big W, super wholesome. Yeah, yeah, there, uh, there are I, some. I, but it's it's very tough for me to find the find the time as I work uh, nine to six every day. Ah, uh, I see, I see. Yeah, there are some time. There are some people that are wholesome and unturned, but then you can find the complete opposite, you know? Some yes, of them, absolutely. they literally want me dead because I raided their base. You know? So. I've had to deal with a fair share of those people in my days. Um, one thing that I didn't see back in the days, like between 2016 and 2018, 2019, was that a lot of people disliked me. Oh, okay. And, uh, like, I never noticed that because uh, yeah. i was doing my own thing obviously but like i went back in the unturned official discord and i found some uh, messages of people calling me a cheater in unturned and stuff oh, like damn. that because uh, i had a vac ban on my steam profile uh, that was uh... literally like 10 it's 11 12 years old now um so it was back in 2011 on modern warfare 3 by the way <laughs> uh, so people thought i was a hacker like genuinely thought i was a hacker and 
discredited everything I did. Of course. <laughs> nah, some people just come jump to conclusions instantly, man. I remember, so one time around like three, four years ago, I was banned from Unturned. I literally got yeah, a I game ban. And people sometimes still to this day tell me, like they know I got banned uh, for falsely, obviously. I wasn't cheating or whatever. And people still sometimes say, the only reason you're unbanned is because you've known Nelson. You were cheating, which is absolutely <laughs> stupid because I was not yeah. cheating. I remember at that time, it wasn't just me that got banned as well. P9 was banned at the same time. And I think even uh, two our games were banned. Yeah, they were both banned as well. I, I don't remember what happened. I, I, I was thinking like, for example, we had like a program that like we all have, for example, like, I don't know, Photoshop, for example. Yeah, I mean, as someone I work with anti-cheat a lot uh, at our current game. Uh, what I can say is that a lot of things do get falsely flagged. Uh, different drivers, if you get the wrong uh, driver update, that might be flagged as a, as a you know, oh, a, no. a threat to the game. And they might be like, yeah, we're just going to ban you. Oh, so no. it's important. Like, even though you do, like, you do get a lot of false bans, like a ton of them. So, like, they're never going to be 100%. Um, that's just how it is. And people who say that people who got banned and then unbanned if they make up like bullshit stories about like that this guy should actually still be banned you know nine out of ten times you're incorrect yeah for sure for sure I, bro i was so scared <laughs> i was like i thankfully though i had proof that i wasn't cheating because it happened when i was streaming like i was streaming and then it just showed up like like on my uh like i got kicked from the server and it said you are vec banned i'm like I started laughing, you know, I was like, this is like a glitch or something or a bug. And then I go to my profile and I'm like, game ban on record, zero days, like ban a goal, whatever. I was freaking yeah. out, man. Yeah, I know that uh, back when H1C1 came out, uh, um, have you played H1C1 at all? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I didn't yeah, so play it, so I just know about it. Yeah, so back when it, uh, when it first came out, uh, this was like way before my time on YouTube, I still used to stream. Like I've streamed since 2010, I think. Oh, damn. So I've been around for, for a long time. Yeah. I actually got banned on H1Z1 for cheating. I showed up on my Steam profile and all that. Um, and I was like, I have not cheated. Yeah. I literally streamed uh, and the day after I got banned. So for like the next, what was it? I think it was a year and a half. I was literally sending in proof to the H1C1 devs, uh, Daybreak, I think it is. Okay. And I was like, I'm not cheating, literally. Like, look at this stream. This is what got me banned. Uh, and they always said, we can't reverse bans. We can't reverse bans. We can't reverse bans. Damn. And then eventually they reversed the ban. I was okay. like, what? What? No, well, now you can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> now, as long as you got unbanned, though, that's good. But yeah. st still to this day, I get like so many people, like they get banned and they get banned because they were cheating. And they're like, how did you get unbanned? I'm like, why did you get banned? They were like, oh, I have hacks. I'm like, well, you deserve it then, you know? It's funny. Yeah. Well, uh, that's just how it is. Uh, I think as content creators, we just have to learn to take it. And yeah, yeah. It. of course, of course. But now, when I started, I remember like when I started uh, making videos and all of that, every, I used to read every comment. If there's any hate, I would like actually get sad. And all of that, they're like, wait, what did I do wrong, though, you know? And nowadays, yeah. like, you just have to get used to it, you know? Yep, absolutely. And I don't know if you remember this, but back, uh, I don't know exactly what year it was, but me and Panda, we uh, we were joking around with each other, uh, just prank, trying to prank our communities. Okay. Uh, basically, of him, like, me calling him out as a cheater and stuff like that. Uh, there was, like, diss tracks, right? Where they're, like, just tracks. Yeah, we were having so yeah. much fun with this. <laughs> and when we made a video just telling like uh telling everyone you know that it was made up all of that it was just a, a joke yeah, yeah we got so much shit from the community like Damn. how old was i maybe 16 17 how, not even 17 yeah, yeah. like somewhere in between there there's literally hundreds of people harassing a 16 year old on the internet over a joke bro that's like insane. Like I, I, I do know, like I was insanely sad for a long period of time. And I think that's one of the reasons as well, like why I kind of like got out of like, cause I uploaded like every single day. Yeah, and stuff yeah like that. I remember that. That's kind of like why I took a little bit step back. Cause I think that kind of like affected me much more than people thought. Uh, but like looking back at it, you know, eight years ago, like I, as a person, I could not sit there and bully uh, a 16 year old for a joke. Yeah, like that's just insanely stupid. It is like, um, 
it's but crazy. yeah, you do you do learn how to uh, how to deal with all of that stress and stuff like that in different ways. And I think looking back at it, I think I dealt with it in a mature and good way uh, for you know my age back then. Yeah, yeah. So I'm happy that uh, things turned out as as they did. Uh, but still, I don't think it's I don't think it's okay to really nah, you know talk as much trash okay. as people do. It's just like. So many people take, like, even in Uncerned in general, like, you're playing on a server and you you raid someone, for example, and the amount of, like, the amount of insults you get from them because you raided them, you know, like, extremely bad words as well, like, and even racist yeah. stuff, it's, it's it's just a game, like, they, they have to, you know, calm down, it's, it's only a game, you know, I know that yeah. you, it took you a while to build it, but that's what the game is. If you don't want this, then why are you, you know, playing this, for example? Exactly. It's risk and reward. But then again, yeah, yeah. like, we can we can look at the other side of the uh, coin. Maybe they are people who want to play the game, but they want to play PvE and stuff like that. Sure, they should probably play on a PvE server then. No, yeah, exactly. Uh, but yeah, it's, I think emotions is one of the greatest things in games, in gaming, in general. Uh, I can look back at, like, me playing Modern Warfare 2 back when it was still, like, popular. Uh, the voice chats in that game was absolutely brutal. Um, <laughs> oh god, yeah. <laughs> people, people who play games nowadays wouldn't be able to deal with nah. what people did on Modern Warfare Two back in the days. Back then was crazy. If, yeah, so it's like still like back then was crazy. What what's going on in our current community is yeah, it can be somewhat crazy sometimes, but I still think it's like mild enough to for people to deal with. Uh, but I think like just also emotions, emotion in gaming, both angry, sad, uh, happy, all of that is just great overall. Uh, in different ways, because it makes you more attached to to the games that you play, in a way. Yeah, true, true, true. So, uh, but still not an excuse to drop drop end bombs. Oh no, for ra raiding their base. Nah, for you raiding their base. It's not okay. Some people are truly insane too. Like I've had a tournament. Uh, I think it was a month ago, and the prizes were like you know like these unturned gold skins and whatever. Yeah. So. We were having some issues with the server, like, was getting DDoS, basically. So, yeah. it wasn't even from my end, because it was, you know, the tournament was going bad, basically. The amount of hate I got from players, that before the tournament, they were like, you know, they were acting, like, super nice to me, and, you know, like, being, like, they're excited, and, you know, whatever. They were like, none of that. And then when the DDoS happened, they were like, R extremely racist they were like you know Liam you should go jump off a bridge because I was the server was getting DDoS it was I was like damn these people like do I really should I really spend as much time on you know these people you know like should I really d do more tournaments for example and give them an exclusive skin when they treat me like this because the server is getting DDoS so like from there I decided I'm not doing any more tournaments you know so yeah like, I think that's the, the right move to go about it for sure uh, there's different ways you can go about it as well. Let's try to exclude these people who are acting like this. Yeah, it's, yeah. If, if it's a larger majority that acts like that, it's definitely hard to do. Um, but I think also, like, even though there's there might be a lot of bad things affecting, for example, a tournament that you might be hosting, I think it's still good that you do the uh, tournament uh, for the people that are actually nice, yeah, who are yeah. actually enjoying having a great time. Because I think, like, making, like, letting them have fun is definitely worth it. Yeah, so... Um, but it, it's, it depends case to case, of course. Of course, but, yeah. of course. I did realize, like, my Twitch, like, community, like, the people that are watching me daily, you know? Those people weren't complaining at all. The people that were complaining are, like, the ran Not the randoms, like, the people that are... Like, I wouldn't say a part of my community. They were, like, just... They joined the tournament for the prize, you know? Yeah. So, from that I got there, like, if I'm gonna do another event, I wouldn't just announce it or whatever, I'll just do it on a stream, on a random Tuesday evening, and whoever's watching, they get, they get to play, you know? Yeah. So... Um, I don't remember if you... I don't even know if you remember, like, when I... If, when I used to do Unturned events, I used to do a yeah. lot of different types of events, I used to do, like, C4 Roulette and stuff like that, I remember, and Seek, yeah, yeah, yeah. a lot of cool stuff. And I used to, like, upload it to YouTube, but I used to stream it as well, I, like, stream it first and then upload it, probably, like, how you go about doing things. Yeah because it saves time. But why I had to stop with those is because I was actually targeted by a group of people, uh, specifically taking down every single server that I'm in and uh, cheating and everything. Uh. It was, I couldn't do it. So there's definitely some bad apples. I don't know if they're still around, but if you are and you're watching this video, sincerely, if you. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, was there like an unturned clan or something like that? 
I wouldn't say clan. I think it's just a bunch. It was just a bunch of edgy hackers. Or uh, they call themselves hackers because they can use Wireshark on, on an IP that they found. Uh, I you see. Know. Yeah. But yeah, they used to be really, really, really scum. No, I I don't really like nowadays. When I stream, for example, and I join a server, I still share the IP of the server and all of that, like for people to join. Like I don't really get DDoS nowadays, so I they probably I don't I don't think they are around anymore. Thankfully. Yeah. Absolutely. Back then, um, like so 2018, 17 ish, they def like I used to get the server that I'm on that we used to get DDoS so much. Yeah, I, I remember like it was it was around 2017 as well. Like it, it happened to I think probably like all of the like majority of streamers, like the the major on turn streamers, if you will, yeah, used yeah. to get DDoS. Yeah. Yeah. What about stream sniping though? Yeah, I do that stream snipe every stream still. I got stream sniped uh, a lot, especially like as an arena player. Like, it was literally on a day-to-day -day basis. I even called out some people out for stream sniping that weren't stream sniping that I'm like sort of <laughs> friends with today. Yeah, me uh, too. From like Ace from Ace Clan back in the days and stuff like uh, that. Um, my JoJo used to stream snipe me. Yeah, I'm not surprised. <laughs> I love my he JoJo. He probably stream snipe me as well. Yeah, I love <laughs> this is very well. day-to-day. Day. Yeah, too. yeah, he's a, this is very day-to-day. <laughs> Happy birthday, yeah. he's not here sadly, but happy birthday, Majojo. Yeah. Happy happy 20th birthday, Majojo, yeah. when you're watching this video. Yeah, we love him, man. He's like, um, I've I've literally known him, like, probably one of the longest as well now. Like, 2017, 16-ish, yes. So, yeah, man. Yeah, I mean, I, he started watching when I did Unturned, and then he even followed, like, when, when I started streaming World of Warcraft and yeah, stuff Yeah, like I remember that, so. that, I remember that, yeah. But Majojo is a real one. He he's through thick and thin. He's yes. not a he's not a fake one. He no, he's not. He's not. He's always there exactly. to like yeah. He's always there to to like whenever I need help. He's always there, you know. Yeah. So much love, Majojo. Okay, so um, I do have one more question, and then we'll go over to the viewer questions. So get ready, chat for your viewer questions for MTN. Okay. So. Um, Okay, so yeah, this one is regarding, like, we've talked about game dev for a little bit, and th the final question is, would you ever do your own game? Yes, I actually already have, I'm already a Steamworks partner. You pay a fee and you get into it, and I've been for three years. Okay. I've had large plans for different types of games, and I recently picked up uh, a project again that I am looking to make my first proper game, a solo game that I will release on Steam. Um, but still, like it's super early. It's still in concepting shape. Um, what it's what exactly it's gonna be, we'll, we'll have to see. You know. Okay. Uh, but the plan is definitely to release my own games. Okay. Yeah, I'm hyped. I'm hyped. I'll definitely play your games. <laughs> definitely. All right. You you get keys. Don't Yo, worry. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> nah, man, it's all good. I I'll buy it. I'll support you. You know how it is. You know. <laughs> Appreciate all right. that. Yeah, yeah. So that's basically all of the questions that I've had planned. Um, chat, you know, where are the questions at? So yeah, we're going to start off with Dash's question. So Dash asked this every single podcast. He's here asking this question. I don't know why. I don't know. But he always asks, what's your favorite alcohol? I don't really drink much alcohol. Because uh, I have a tendency. I've always had it. I, I do drink, like, not regularly, but like... Um, on holidays and stuff like that, if okay. you will. Okay. Um, I usually like just prefer like I always I love drinking beer. Like uh, just a nice lager is really okay. good. Okay. Um, that's my my absolute favorite. But if he's talking more like liquor and stuff, um, I would probably say, damn, I actually don't know. <laughs> I have, have I don't drink liquor. <laughs> yeah, I I relate. I don't drink alcohol either. I I I don't. I get sick from it like instantly. Yeah. So so I, beer would be my my go to choice here. Yeah, man, man, man likes that. I think he likes beer too. It's yeah. Good. So he's I that he lives up to his name. Yeah, he is a man. <laughs> he's a man. So he's uh he's the man, man, man. He's so man. He's triple man. You know. Yep. Okay. So Dash also asks. Yeah, he asks at the start of the stream, and I'm like, I I told him, ask this at the end. So you've recently made the um a series for Storm Monarchy for map making. Um, I think he's still posting some of the videos still. I don't think he posted all of them. I'm pretty sure he's wrapped up all of them now, actually. Okay, okay. So, I don't know if he, there is actually a video about it, but Dash asks, um, how do you make NPCs? This is probably like a whole tutorial, Dash. 
I have a video on my channel already from like six years ago uh, on how to make Unturned NPCs, probably outdated by now. Uh, but I think that's something you should go comment on Restore Monarchy's channel. Yeah. Because that's probably where we would upload it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, exactly. So go, a go ask there, you know. Um, how do you make NPCs? Can MTN make a video on how to make NPCs? Yeah, yeah, of course. Like, I, I get... The Man Man Man, for example, he recommended me a video to do on the Restore Monarchy channel, and I'm literally doing it right now because I asked McCrow if it's a good idea, and he's like, yeah, sure. So huge yeah, shout out to uh, Man Man Man. <laughs> Yeah, uh, me and uh, Macro has actually been speaking a little bit. We're going to continue making some videos more in the map editing uh, uh, series that I'm making, or I've made with them, um, based on some uh, viewer questions, basically, like what people okay. would like to see. Yeah. So we're going to work on that first, uh, but it's definitely not impossible to make uh, tutorials on how to make NPCs uh, nowadays uh, in Unturned. I would have to do some research to make sure that I'm 100% sure of it. Yeah, for um, sure, for sure. But it, it's definitely not impossible to do. No, I, I don't think it's... I, I'm not really into map making. I don't know anything about it. Um, but I don't think it's a hard thing to do, like NPCs, you know? I think it's just a little bit of code, maybe. Yeah, I mean, if I can make a game, I can probably figure out how to add an NPC uh, yeah. to it. For game. sure, for <laughs> sure. <laughs> for sure. You can probably make, like, like moving NPCs as well. I mean, technically, there are ideas, but, like, extremely well animated, you know? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I... I at a certain level, I could probably add the uh, proper AI pathfinding, uh, add like randomness, have like random NPCs uh, yeah. work their own way. Okay. Um, there's already stuff built in in Unturned, like where you can do that, or in Unity rather. Uh, but you can definitely make some cool stuff uh, custom as well. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that that's good. Yeah, yeah, I like that. I I I've heard about this. I don't know if it's true, but since you're into game dev, uh, and I do know a little bit of coding, bit of here and there. Um, is it true that the unturned code is like super messy? This I mean, is what I've heard. I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't confident be able to give you a confident answer on that. Bef beside, like before looking at it properly. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah. I think there's been a big push in towards cleaning it up. Okay. Um, but I think like all games that are several years old, they're gonna have spaghetti code somewhere. Yeah, that's just how it yeah, is. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if you have, uh, I think I don't know if it was Division Two or Division One. Um, I think it was Division 2, Tom Clancy's. Okay. Um, they actually released a screenshot of their game for one component, which was blueprint coding or visual coding, where you basically get a block of code and you connect it to another block of code, and that's okay. basically visual scripting. And it looked like such a mess. mess. It was uh, <laughs> horrendous to look at, but hey, if it does the trick, then it does the yeah, trick. Yeah, if it does the job, it does it. Um, yeah. From coding, um, but for example, like. Yeah, go on, go on. Go on. I, I just want to mention that, for example, like we had the, had the vehicles update. We had vehicles who, that actually work now compared yeah. to before. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just that alone, uh, if you compare the code for the two different ones, I think it would be the new one would look a lot more cleaner than before. Because okay. what you have to take into consideration as well when it comes to uh, Unturned 3, Nelson probably learned a lot of new things uh, throughout developing it on of how course, to optimize and improve it. I mean, yeah, like these updates, they are. A lot of people say that they're useless, but I don't agree at all. Like, for ex especially like the uh, the vehicle one, like these updates, they are improving the game a lot, in my opinion. So I'd love to see Absolutely. these updates, even if we have to wait a little bit between one update and update another update. I don't mind as long as it's like you know they're still coming, basically. You know. Yeah, for sure. Um, I was gonna ask a question that came to mind, but I forgot. Uh, Happens. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, uh, all right. So, what do you like? You know how the unturned scene is. You know probably all of the unturned, most of the unturned YouTubers at least. Um, so, what do you think of the current state of the unturned YouTube uh, scene? Dead. Dead. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, as uh, Seaman mentioned in, in in your last podcast, yeah. you're basically the only one who's uploading actively. Sadly. Um, there's uh, like a lot of great, great creators. Uh, Puro, for example, I, I recently like, like when I came back to YouTube, YouTube, I saw his, um, him comment on my video and I had to check okay. it out. I was like, who is this? And it, it's actually an old viewer from back in the day who so had decided oh. to start doing Unturned videos. Wait, who? Oh, he's, Puro, he's yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, and he's done a really good job at doing so. Yeah, so, so I think there's hope, hope in uh, the community. Um, I definitely do, but I think there's too little initiative from the community to make videos. To make videos, that is true, yeah. Um, Puro was actually an other YouTuber back in the day in the unturned scene. He had like 5k subs. His name was T5 Wolves. 
Yes, that's yes. Uh, like that's when he. I remember remember him as a viewer because he used to be very active, like uh, commenting on my videos. And yeah, stuff. yeah, yeah. I've had a podcast. I never knew that he made videos before, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's a really good. I've had him as like the first guest of my podcast. Actually, he's a. Uh, I love yeah. I love Pura, man. His videos are really good. So, yeah. Uh, have you seen like, for example, Panto's videos? Uh, I think I've come across like one or two videos. I briefly know like who it is, but okay. I'm not super familiar. Okay, or like Smiley, for example. Smiley, I um, I actually found out about Smiley through uh, when I played uh, Escape from Tarko Turned uh, okay. quite recently. So that's kind of like how I came across Smiley. Okay. Uh, so that's someone I'm fairly new to. Yeah, yeah, way. okay, okay. Smiley, I have a bit of a backstory for him. So basically, Smiley, I've known him for years. Uh, and at the start, we did not like each other. He used to stream snipe me so much. Uh, he used to, I used to have servers, and um, he used to play on these servers, and we had, like, such a drama thing going on. Uh, we didn't like each other at all. But then, like, one day it all changed. Like, he's literally an admin on my Discord nowadays. Like, yeah, that's super cool. Yeah, it's, it's like the fact that from... A person that literally hated... We hated each other, basically. I think hate is a bit of a strong word, but we didn't like each other at all. Um, and then we kind of made up, and now we're, like, good friends, and we give each other, like, YouTube advice to each other, you know? Like, it's actually really cool to see that kind of that, that kind of stuff can happen, you know? Yeah, absolutely. So, and now he's posting videos, too, and he posts really good videos, so... Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to... I'm excited to see what he's cooking because i've talked with him and he's he's cooking some nice stuff as well not just unturned stuff so yeah yeah all right yeah, but yeah it's important that people like uh, smiley for example take the initiative and like if they want to make videos just go for it yeah yeah and if you feel like you don't know how to edit and stuff like that there's tons of guides oh yeah, you don't feel sure. like you have a tool a tool to edit then uh, i'm used i for example i used to edit in vegas pro back when i would used to be active and now recently when, with my comeback i switched to uh, da vinci okay. uh, resolve yeah, yeah. And I had to relearn it from the scratch, like from the beginning, basically. But it's super easy, and there's guides for everything. Exactly, yeah. yeah. I, I, I use a little bit of both. Um, but I mainly use Vegas. It's only Vegas. Um, but yeah. Can't take the crashes anymore. Nah. I, I figured out why mine used to crash, to be honest. So it used to crash because I used to, like, you know, the preview of the video? I used to make it too large. And for some reason, when I used to make it too large, it crashed. Yeah, uh, I think one of the issues I had was that just on my old PC um, was that I had too little RAM. I had 8 gigs of RAM, which is yeah, fine, it's but it's fine, starting yeah. to be a little bit outdated. And if you want to edit like high quality videos, uh, 8 gigs is not really like nah, that it, great for it. It's not <laughs> sadly, yeah. yeah. Thankfully, like my old PC, yeah, I used to edit with uh, Movie Maker. You remember Movie Maker? Yes, I have made lots of videos on Movie Maker that are still on YouTube that a lot of people have not seen. Yeah, and then I, I remember, like, when I got my new PC, I used to use... I started Movie Maker as well, but then, like, I switched to uh, Vegas. I got it for free, thankfully. <laughs> and uh, it took me a while to learn it. But, yeah, you get there by the end, you know? You get there, the more yeah. you, you use it, the more you practice. So, yeah, if there's anyone yeah, the in chat... Yeah. yeah, exactly. If there's anyone watching right now on YouTube when... This will be uploaded, and you want to make videos, and you don't like, but I don't know how to edit, or I don't know how to record. Just give it a give it a try, you know. Like, to start, none of us knew how to do anything, so yeah, just give it a try. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Chad. I, mean, I think I think at this point, I've uh, overall as well. I just want to mention I've probably made like seven hundred videos oh, altogether. Oh yeah, for sure, for uh, sure. A lot of them have been removed. Uh, because you know I'm ashamed of them, <laughs> uh, but that's you know you know that's just how it starts. Yeah. Everybody is in that yeah. boat, bro. I remember my first video. So I used to record with a f program called Fraps, and yes. Fraps uh, I had the free version, which you have to record only thirty seconds. So every thirty seconds, I would continue recording and pressing again. And then I switched to Bandicam, it had that big, big, like, logo at the top. I'm like, bruh. And then I OBS came out, I was so happy with OBS. Yeah, I used to do Fraps as well. And then I think quite early on, I used it for a while, and then I switched to a software called DX Story, which okay. was super good. I used that for so many years. 
And then eventually, you know, OBS came out, and uh, I, that's my go-to. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. OBS, OBS is the best, man. Yeah. I use OBS. Shadow Play as well. Oh yeah, yeah. And Shadow, and yeah, yeah. A lot of people use GeForce now. I, th I think, right? Yeah, it's GeForce something. Yeah. It's GeForce um, Shadow Play. Yeah. Oh. Oh, okay. I thought they were yeah. two different things. Right. It's it's called it's called Nvidia Shadow Play, but it's by GeForce, yeah. Uh, okay. I don't know that. Okay. All right, that's good to know then. That's really good to know. Damn, I I learned something today. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Nice. Yeah. Uh, okay, Chad. Do we have any other questions? Hello. Stream also has their own recording feature, right? Yeah. yeah apparently, Steam has their own recording feature now too. I haven't yes, tried they, that yet. They they have had it for um, a couple of months now. Uh, it came out of beta kind of recently. I actually had to test that for our game that we're working on, uh, okay. Exoborn, uh, just to test how it records and ga games and stuff like that. And it actually works really well. Um, so yeah, I'm, that's I'm something glad. to I'm glad. make use as well. I'm glad. Okay. All right. That that's cool then. That's cool. Uh, okay, Chad. Do we have any other questions for my boy MTN here? Dash Dash's question went through, so Dash is happy. 1v1 on turn PvP MTN versus Liam. <laughs> yeah, I don't Yo. know about that. <laughs> <laughs> Restore monarchy odds. Oh, <laughs> I remember. Uh, I, he, my mouse is broken. Sorry. Ah, uh, feels bad. I remember he actually <laughs> gave me this idea a while ago. Like, we should. We He asked if we should 1v1 for a video. So. Have you heard of Battle Over the Throne? I. Dude. Oh my, wasn't I that... Made, I, I played against me like Big Boom, I yes. played against Panda, I played against my brother. <laughs> I remember, wasn't that like with the Alpha Squad as well? Wasn't he one like in one of those videos? Uh, uh, he actually had his own uh, own series. Oh yeah, The Wall. Uh, what, exactly. Yeah, uh, I, I think when, it was me and Matt, Alpha, uh, Alpha Squad, on the same team against... I think when you like Big Boom. Yes, it might be me like Big Boom. I want to say... I'm curious I now. Like, I think the Union I, I don't well. remember. The Union, hmm? maybe. The Union. Oh, yeah, no, he was in. We played against him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, the first episode, it was you... It was Alpha Squad and me, like, big... Oh, no, wait. This is the Alpha Squad's one. Wait. The wait. Alpha Squad is the one. Uh, the, he's the one who owns the wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm trying to find the one that you were in. Hall Paul. You remember Hall Paul? Damn, so many. There's a lot of names. Then. Yeah, so many people we haven't heard of those names in so long. I can't find it. We should bring back all of the OG, like the old old heads, the grandpas sure. of Unturned, and they'd make a server. <laughs> oh, I found it out. So the wall episode two was you and Hall Paul versus the Alpha Squad and Thomas. X the Thomas. XD. That's the one. Yeah, yes, yeah. that's the one. The bro, that's eight years ago. <laughs> Damn, I didn't even start yeah. back then, I think. Yeah, yeah. I just yeah. started at 2016. I literally started, like, my first ever videos. Damn. What year was that upload? It was 2016, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it was quite early. I think that's when I started as well, like, okay. doing actively. I think I have some videos that were before, but that's when I started doing unturned content. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I found your Battle Over the Throne series. You had Me Like Big Boom versus MTN. Damn. Yeah, eight and, years uh, ago. So. MTN versus uh, Rose, MTN versus P9. Yeah. Good times. Those were good. I used to watch those so much. I was like, I want to play. But like, you know, back then, I know <laughs> nobody knew how I was. So, you know what? <laughs> if I bring it back, you'll be the first one I invite. Yo, <laughs> let's go. That would be sick. I love those so much. All right. Well, um, yeah, it's going to be the end of the podcast. Thank you so much, MTN. I had a blast. Um, it was that was fun being here. Yeah, that was a lot of fun, man. It was chill, you know, refreshing our memories from years ago. So, very nice to have you here, man. Thank you so much. Much love. Uh, I look forward to what you post in the future and your games. Ayo, when you post a game, you gotta let me know, man. You know, I will. Don't worry. I will you won't miss it. Hell yeah, let's go. Okay, so uh, before we conclude, Chad, I would like to give a shout out, obviously, to the sponsors of the podcast. Um, firstly, we have ourselves Restore Monarchy, who is currently in the chat. Um, nice head, by the way. <laughs> uh, Restore Monarchy. One of those. Yeah, we love those. I think this is the only one that exists as well. So <laughs> I, I am, I am so proud of myself because I have made it. <laughs> um, so yeah, if you guys want to check out yourselves some cool plugins, there's free and paid plugins from Restore Monarchy. 
Um, and th they also do a lot of guides for Unturned when it comes to map making, which MCN has made. And I have personally made myself a lot of like PvP guides and all of that. Check out Restore Monarchy! Exclamation uh, Monarchy in the chat. And we got ourselves also Pine Hosting if you guys want to check out. Uh, if you guys want to buy yourself some Unturned servers, you want to start your own servers. Um, not just for Unturned, they do Rust, Minecraft, Project Zomboid, a lot of games. Check out Pine Hosting and use code LDG to get yourself a 30% off. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. Huge shout out to MCN. Make sure to check out his channel if you haven't already. It will be linked in the description below. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you for the 100 bits, Restore Monarchy. Right, bye. <laughs> <laughs>